Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. Got a little treat for you guys. We got the Maxthon browser that just launched on Windows Phone. What is the Maxthon browser? It is a cloud-based system. So basically it does all the heavy lifting up in the cloud and what you get is a really fast experience on your device. Now this has been available on iOS and Android and even your PC for a while. And it used to go by the name of My IE2, which may ring a bell for some of you guys, even on the Windows Mobile days. Um, you can see here it launches and it has a nice little tile system. A lot of these are preloaded, although don't worry. I know some of you guys are against Google. That's fine. You can easily remove those, edit or delete. And if you want to add your own, you hit this little button here. And it's going to allow you to type in the title, the address, and what color you wanted. So we did, of course, our site. And we even added Bing. Although, to be honest, it's a little redundant. When you hit Bing, it's just going to actually kick you to the actual Bing app on your phone, so don't worry about that. But let's check it out. I'm going to hit WP Central there and watch how fast this brings up our entire site. It's very quick. If you're traveling, looking to save on data, or you just want a fast experience, you're going to probably want to check out this browser. Uh, it is very zippy and just works very, very well. Now, being it's cloud-based, you probably don't want to do your banking on this or you know, enter in any secure information. But for normal browsing, it, you know, you can't really beat it. It's just extremely quick and uh, just a real joy to use. Now, what's also neat, when you hit this little, this is actually the tabs button, but there's two functions to it. Um, if I hit this way, and you can see, I'll do that again, it actually brings up the history of what I was just browsing. So I can go back and view pages. They're almost like little snapshots. So that's kind of neat. If I want to open up another tab, I can just hit the plus button. And I can hit any one of these and it's going to open up in another tab. And you can see it actually shows you the little number there, three for the number of tabs I have. And once again, now when I hit this, I can switch between the sites I was just on by doing this. It's a little slow, but it's not too bad. You can see that stutter. And then if I go to WP Central, I can go this way and view my history of that site. So it's not perfect, because like I said, it does stutter a little bit. Um, but overall, it is pretty unique if you want to get a real visual representation of your browsing history and be able to jump around real quickly between sites. But overall, it works very well. Uh, you can click the story, it'll load up. Now there aren't a whole lot of features here. So for instance, sharing is kind of difficult. It doesn't look like to be a sharing option. Um, you do have your profile. So if you create an account with them, you don't need to, but if you want to, you can, and you can manage that from the device here. Uh, that allows you to sort of save and sync between different items. And there's a lot of reasons for doing that. You do have favorites. So you can add any site to your favorites or you can just hop to your favorites, which is basically just your bookmarks. Um, and what else is there? Settings, there really aren't too many. But other than that, your tabs, you have your refresh, and of course, you have your address bar, so you can type in any site you want to go to, and it'll hop back and forth. Or you can just hit the back button too, and go through that way. Overall, an impressive app. It's completely free, so there's no reason for you not to try it. And if, like I said, if you want to save some money, and you're looking for a really fast browsing experience, it's a nice little app to have on your device. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. But there you go. Take care, buddy. Thank you.